So I wanted to talk about this movie. It's a Netflix film that deals a lot with like death and also like human manipulation and like, and I just thought there was a, some parallels between this and like our uh, field of practice, which is estate planning. <laughs> My name is Darren Brown, and the question we're considering is simple. Can we be manipulated through social pressure to commit murder? 70 people coming in here. They can't see this. Take them by the knees. This show is about how readily we hand over authorship of our lives every day. Just give them one big push. Can social compliance be used to make someone push a living, breathing human being to their death. Welcome to the push. That has to be one of the most unethical things I have ever seen in my life. That is insane. <laughs> oh, that is so upsetting. That yeah? is the worst. That that's guy's, like how we made Nazis. That's, that's awful. <laughs> it that, is awful. That's terrible. Yeah. I'm like upset that Netflix gave that a uh, platform. Really? Yes. I it thought is, it was really cool. I, that is so seen, like think like about the guy that exists in the social th- psych So paper. yeah, we all get this fun little video to watch and be like, "Wow, the human psyche is so interesting." That, that poor drunk. has to live the rest of his life knowing that he did that. Yeah. Like, that guy's life is ruined. I don't know if it's ruined. I think that I mean, he, the, did he did he did he kill the guy? So so yeah. Spoiler alert! If you haven't seen the movie, um, but yeah, yeah like at the end, I believe I believe he, he has to live so the rest run, of his life with they, the guilt that he killed someone, even or he, though he, or he didn't. could have. They actually run the experiment like ten times. Um, and like they run the scenario ten times. They run ten people through this thing. Yeah. Does everyone do it? Uh, uh, no, no. I think like forty to sixty percent of them, somewhere in there. I don't know. That is so I weird. did not expect you guys to have such a strong reaction <laughs> oh, no. to this. I had a bunch of questions like, about like, situations like, like in real life, like in Rwanda and something like yeah. that. Like it took a, they could t- you could take a society that does have regular political fractions mm-hmm. and then convince your population to kill the other half of your population surprisingly fast. Yeah, I think it's yeah. probably jarring because you it it is very much based in reality that we can convince people to do things Crazy that they things. didn't want to do. If this really was just a scientific experiment, they wouldn't make a fucking movie about it and <laughs> right. pitch it to Netflix. Right. It, it That's would, not what it would be. It would have been a scientific experiment. They sold it to Netflix after they sold it to so the BBC. so many more controls yeah. on it. We should try not to ruin people's lives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, if this guy who participated in this experiment, even after he had signed all these things and stuff, would you? And he was like, "I want to sue these people." Like, would you I, take that case? I wouldn't, but I would. Rec- I mean, I, because I don't do those kind of cases, but I would highly recommend you talk with a bunch of attorneys. You yeah, would. I would absolutely <laughs> prefer him to an attorney for sure. Yeah. Because yeah, again, that's not my area of law. Um, I, I would. Call- I would want to look at the copy yeah. of it. And and the end of the day too, um, even if there was a waiver. You know, there's it's something to, to be said for, well, one, can you actually waive that kind of uh, assault? A risk that's known to yeah. the person who commits it, but not right. to the other person. Like, are you entering into the waiver on common footing, right? Um, but so one, I don't know if you're able to waive that away. But two, I'm at the very minimum, I'm going to want to file a very loud, very vocal, very like, everybody look at how fucked up this is yeah. and look at the consequences of this movie on this person. Like, I'm going to just make it as loud as possible. Because, like, one, I want, you know, if I'm this guy's attorney, I want people to know how messed up this was. I want money from my client because he has to do all this stuff for the rest of his life. He has to deal with that. Last question. Uh, One of the themes of this film is how humans change when they experience a loss of control. Um, This also happens towards the end of people's lives when they might become sick or potentially hospitalized. How can estate planning help make someone feel more in control of the end of their lives? This is where I I can answer. Why don't I I say this to start, right? In no way, shape, or form do I want our business associated (laughs) with that garbage <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna, but, I'm gonna put some space between that movie but and our independent business. of that garbage yeah. and the bad people who did it yeah let's talk about some uh, benefits of estate planning <laughs> okay and how it can make you feel better we'll start with the premise that not making decisions is okay so if you don't make decisions in your life other people will make them for you um and that includes getting sick dying whatever whenever you don't affirmatively state what you want other people will do what serves them what estate planning is particularly valuable for is getting to make decisions about your life kind of going on the record um, in a very adult way and be like, I'm going to die one day. Hopefully it's not soon, but probably later, eventually this will happen and I'm going to decide what will happen 
with my legacy right now. You can actively design your plan to control your life. If you choose not to control your life, that is a choice you are making. And when you don't choose to make an estate plan, you are choosing to punt control of all your final decisions to somebody else. Whether it's a state legislator, your wife, your children, your siblings, somebody will eventually come in and make a decision for you. Mm -hmm. And I hope you like them. Have you guys ever read like The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen yes. Covey? I have not. It's a great oh, book. It's great. And I think yeah. habit number two or something is like begin with the end in mind. And he, he, uh, he talks, he starts the chapter with like, Hey, like imagine conceptualize your funeral, right? Like who will be there and what will they say? And like, how that, will that is a valid way to go about it. Yeah. That, I want people at my yeah. funeral, like think about it. And it's like, yeah, net positive. <laughs> yeah, net positive exactly. <laughs> I don't eight. need to be like people thinking, Oh, he's a saint. I, I want at least net positive. And I want Barack Obama to be there. <laughs> <laughs> He's very, exactly. very. I old. want enough money. Yeah. What's his per diem? I got yeah. <laughs> Is that the budget. Yeah, that could I, be. I'm not above that, that telling could be Lance included in my final me. expenses. <laughs> yeah. If yeah. Pay, was like, I'll come for, for fifty Obama. grand. He I doesn't want that have to say anything. He doesn't have to do anything. He just needs just to be, be there in with the crowd and not say any words. I actually don't want him to say anything. I want everyone to be there. Was that Barack Obama? I want everyone to be. Wait, why? Holy shit! That's a stand-up bit. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, like. It, let us know in the comments and if you could share it that'd be fantastic guys we just created a pdf that will help you james is going to talk about it yeah it is a pdf ebook pamphlet called the three biggest mistakes to avoid in estate planning or something along those lines and it is a primer for people that are starting to think about what they need to do uh, with regards to their own plans for the future so go ahead and give it a read hopefully it's helpful and if you have more questions give us a call the link to that is in the description down below click the first link down there and it will take you directly to that pdf where you can learn a bunch of stuff um guys also you can give us a call anytime day or night 404-939-7562 uh, we would love to help you get started on creating an estate plan and planning for your legacy um you can also email us info at scriberlaw.com thanks so much for watching have a great day